Hello everybody, this is Kevin and Brian with Inspiring Now You See That. Hey guys. And today we're going to talk uh, a little bit of a different segment about bands and some of their, you know, inspiration and their, their speeches on mm -hmm. stage and their sermons on stage, whatever it may be. And today we're going to talk about Skillet and John Cooper and share with you guys a little bit, you know, some of the some of the things that we've experienced on stage and it's very, very inspirational, some of his words, and we want to, you know, share that with you guys. Sure. Uh, and like you mentioned, so we've done, we've talked about Skillet a number of times and how much we love Skillet. And, and today, like Kevin said, we're going to focus on John, who of course is the lead singer. Um, John's pretty well known of, of being outspoken um, as far as his Christian faith and trying to build people up. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the reasons that we really love him and the band. Uh, you know, he does a lot, which we're going to show you and, and kind of give you a snippet of, you know, he actually will talk on stage and try to provide encouragement and provide, you know, faith-based teaching really mm -hmm. from the stage um, and he also has a podcast that he regularly does called Cooper Stuff mm -hmm. where he kind of goes more into depth about societal issues but past that more to the heart of things more of how to love people and how to you know really dig in deep relationship wise with people mm -hmm. and, and I love it yeah and it, it's it's great because you not only you know go to the concert get a great show mm -hmm. but you also get great inspiration and encouragement and and encouragement i mean there you never know when that person you're standing next to at the you know concert maybe you know ha going through something exactly and i always love all the shows that i've been through not only with skillet but many bands do do this and we're going to share share others with you guys but today we're going to show you a little bit of a you know the a segment of what you know with john talking mm -hmm. and um so should we share that with them now let's do it so we'll let you guys uh we'll put it on We'll kind of transition out of the picture, and we'll let you guys watch it, and I hope you enjoy. For some of you people who are older, let me ask you this. Do you remember when you... Do you remember when <laughs> you used to say, the world's pretty bad now, but it's going to get better next year. And then the next year rolls around, and you go, you know what? Didn't see that coming. And then you say, that's okay, it's going to get better next year. The next year comes around and you go, well, I never could have dreamt somebody would say that. I hear a lot of people say things like this. They say things like, the reason the world is in such a mess is because Christians have not done their job. I hear a lot of people say that. I don't disagree, by the way, but have you noticed that it's not just the world that's going absolutely insane. It's also the Christian church. Somebody say amen I'll start preaching all night. How many of you guys know what I mean when I say this? You turn on the internet and you find somebody who is saying that they are a Christian and they're all about Jesus, living that Jesus life, but then they say a whole bunch of stuff that makes you go, that doesn't actually sound Christian. I want you to listen to me, especially you young people. Most of the time, the reason it doesn't sound right or doesn't sound Christian to you is because it is not Christian. Somebody say yes! Do not be fooled by these people. Some people aren't going to like what I have to say tonight, but I'm too old to care anymore. There is a trend happening in America, in the church, to say that you love Jesus, but to disconnect Jesus from his own words in the Bible. And it doesn't make any sense. You cannot separate the Word of God from the Word become flesh in Jesus Christ. I am so tired. I am so tired of every week finding out the next absolutely silly thing. Usually, it's blasphemous that somebody claiming to love Jesus has to say, and I want to tell you young people, do not be fooled by wolves or sheep's clothing. Do not be fooled by these people. I'm not saying everybody that disagrees with me is a wolf or sheep's clothing. We can disagree on lots and lots of stuff. But if we don't agree that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through Him, sometimes I hear people say, but you're not going to have unity with these people. No, we don't. They are not saints. I'm not saying to be mean to them. I'm just saying we don't have to have unity in the faith with people who do not believe in the faith 
as Jesus describes it himself. That's all that I'm trying to say. We love them. We pray for them. We want to see them be brought to Christianity into repentance to be born again. But let me tell you this. If you don't know Jesus Christ, you are not born again. And if you deny the word of God, then you don't actually know Jesus Christ. You've just made up a new Jesus. And in biblical Christianity, we call that an idol. So the last thing I want to say about this before I get going, we need to have a revival in the church. We need to have a revival in the church. And we got to teach these young people what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. And i got something radical I want to say to you. It's not actually that radical. It just happens to be in 2021, but it's just the truth. As historic Christianity has typically believed it. If all that Christianity is is believing that God is real and that Jesus is the Son of God and that He died and rose again, if that's all Christianity is, then every demon in hell would be saved. That's not all that Christianity is. Christianity is this. You pick up your cross, you deny yourself, and you get off the throne of your life and you say, Jesus, I want you to sit on the throne because I want you to be my Lord. I want you to be my Savior. It ain't about me. It is about you. I repent for my sins and I want to be made a brand new creation. Oh man, I just... Without Jesus, there's, there's nothing left. Without Jesus, there is no hope. And right now, the most popular thing in the church, the most popular thing happening in the church right now is an idea that we can fix the world without the gospel. That ain't going to happen. I don't care what you are suffering right now, cancer, if you're suffering addiction, drug addiction, pornography addiction, I don't know what's going on in your life. Whatever you are suffering right now, the biggest thing you have to worry about is your sin. It's not about all that other stuff. It is your sin and my sin. It's the same for all of us. Without Jesus, there is no hope. He is the Lord. He is the Savior. He is our hero! Yeah, so that was good. That, that was definitely encouraging to hear. And, and again, that's what you hear at every show. And it's not the same speech every show. You know, mm -hmm. John Taylor is it to every. It's not just John. It's 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 Corey, Seth, Jen. All of them get involved mm -hmm. in this, and you can tell that it's it, it's really in their heart to love people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and as Brian said, you, you definitely you, it, it gets it's heartwarming mm -hmm. when you go out there and you can feel it, and um, and it's and it's all speaking right from yep. you know right from the heart and. It's great, but we just kind of wanted just to show you just a small segment and encourage you guys to check out the show, whether you're just there to see the show, but also listen to, you know, what John or any of the members have to say. And we're going to share, you know, whenever we're at a show and we do catch mm -hmm. these segments, we'll try to get it on recording for you guys and, and share this with everybody out there. Absolutely. So let us know, uh, you know, what experiences you've had with Skillet, or maybe there's another band that has done something similar that has really touched you. We'd love to hear about it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So until next time, we'll see you guys on the next one. God bless and rock on.